Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. So today video we are continue to learn about how to start from scratch. So first of all, uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, continue learning uh, too much about my channel. So if you don't see and follow um, me on Facebook, so please visit uh, my Facebook here, uh, John Nguyen. I share all of um, information from uh, video I, re I release uh, every week. Basically, uh, so the first video about auto side I published uh, yesterday. So if you guys don't see uh, this video yet, so please visit my channel here and uh, search auto sign models and we'll see the oh this one and don't forget to help me like and share and uh, subscribe to my channel in order to uh, learn more about um, power electric motor drive control uh simulink my last simulink and um and more around my channel and of course uh, for free you guys okay so the topic uh, of today is uh I and you will uh, develop together the AutoSAR software common model. So basically, we have the, um, the four step. So here is the uh, MATLAB uh, documentation about the AutoSAR software. So we can visit it and uh, learn for detail. Uh, and then, uh, so today we will uh, deploy the four step for AutoSAR software common. So uh, let's get started with the step one is the AutoSAR process software support AutoSAR software command modeling for, for the AutoSAR classic platform and to uh, develop an AutoSAR software component in Simulink uh, that's create a Simulink model that uh, represents the AutoSAR software component so uh, start you uh, so uh, so first I will open, uh, open this model AutoSAR software and yes and then we have this model here from uh, my lab I will zoom bigger so first one we will see this uh, model uh, so we have uh, three uh, sub symptoms the first one is uh, run nervous one second uh, so we have the two sub, uh, sub symptoms sub symptom one they include that uh, some component and sub symptom two we have here uh, and the second one is runnable two second, and we have uh, the integrator, and that's uh, the final is uh, initialized uh, sub symptom. So we have the event uh, listener. So next step, you will uh, export the models configuration by uh, clicking the model link and clicking model setting. So uh, uh, this step you need to uh, set the symptom target file here and the code generation and you choose the symptom target guard, target file to the autosar dot uh, tmc you can click here and uh, you, you choose the uh, autosar yes okay and click ok and the next one we need to uh, to set up the server by uh, this one, we will see the tie in free step and server in discrete, no uh, continuous set here. Okay, so uh, server detail is auto. Okay, and you click on the cheat, uh, it's decoded at the separate chart, and you can click on apply. Okay. Okay, so following is the step two of in the first step of uh, develop auto software component model. Uh, so you you open the example model uh, from uh, FPKFC. So we are here, and then uh, we will uh, save it. I will zoom a little bit. And I will save a copy. I'll change the name to my audition. 
at the Pepsi dot by the way. Okay. Uh, so next one we will set the set up the symptom. To the other side here. And then click apply. And then you can click on the app here and shut the auto side here. And then the auto size uh, common quiz start appear. So the first step is we will have common name, uh, common package, and common type application. And you can click on next and you choose the defaults here. And then click finish. Okay, so we have the uh, auto size config already uh, finished. So in the right side, you will see the property uh, inspector that include all the property info and um, execution file. And in the left, in the behind, you will see the code mapping. We include all the function to import the airport parameter, uh, the data store, the signal state, data transfer, function colors. So okay, I will uh, give it. and the next one you can see all the simple time by click on the color so we have three color here the red one is discrete with one second uh, the green one is discrete also and we have the the blue one is model wise even and uh, the yellow is um, neutral And then I will set the model. And then in here, it could map bin. I will choose the import, uh, and you see select the import one. And here you can see all the uh, contribute contribution attribute of uh, this uh, input. So I will change it a little bit. I will change it. The online timeout is thirty. Uh, this one you will choose the two and you need find it uh, to the zero to one for example and I will save the model okay the next one we will conflict the auto size software component from the auto size standard uh, perspective uh, I will open the auto size dictionary Okay, and I will, and you will receive, and you will receive the uh, all the information in the receive the box view here, uh, and then I will select the box uh, this one, and all the commission attributes uh, appear here, and you change the name by clicking this one. I change name, name to. Uh, and one second that is one for example and we hear the name is generally in the code map code mapping okay and then I will click on save edge model And then the next step is the uh, I will run the simulation. You can click on the simulation and run this simulation. Okay, so now it's euro. And the final step, I will uh, develop a uh, auto software component. I will uh, generate the uh, C code plus plus by clicking on the auto and clicking Ctrl B. Or you can uh, choose any code here. So I use the control B.
Okay, so uh, we have uh, the first one we code generation report. Here in, in, in the right side, we have all the codes generate uh, C5 as uh, C code. So you can see here to view all the code. Okay, and you see the order summary of uh, post generation reports uh, under the code information and the location and so on. And we have subsystem reports also and code interface reports and um, traceability reports, uh, static codes and metric reports and so on. And then record we have see the header and uh, the private and the tie the UDT file, the um, runtime uh, environment file. Okay, so in this uh, sub file, you can uh, review the variable by uh, in the first and you will enter. So you see, click on the button here. You see the all the eleven uh, results for uh, this uh, variable. So you receive this one. We time out in thirty second, uh, exactly. And the um, table never receive it choose, and we have the unified E one. So uh, all the codes we already fit. Uh, for uh, two. Okay, so uh, this is a quick video. This uh, conclude the video. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, through this video continue to uh, learn more about the Autosa and uh, of course we need to learn more about this uh, Autosa because Autosa is a very useful software, uh, useful process in the automotive uh, industry. So thank you very much you guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.